Hello, and welcome to round four of my second league. We are no longer joined by my cousin, so it's just going to be myself talking to myself. We'll see how things go this round. Ideally, we can get some slightly better hands than we did last round. Against Grix's control, it was a little rough. I did a lot better in the last... Uh, set of three than I anticipated, but I uh, still lost in the end. Alright, first time for the night that we lose the die roll. Which might or might not hurt us. It's always nice to be able to play first. Uh, this hand is really good. Turn one Ravager, if I so desire. Alternatively, turn one Scourge, turn two Ravager. for Serum Visions, um, possibly Storm, which, if we can get Master out fast enough, ooh, um, well, we'll go with the basic play. The we were going to do this no matter what play. <laughs> and then the debate becomes Scourge, Overseer, or Ravager. If it is Storm, they probably have something to take care of Overseer. But if they don't have anything, then Oversteer starts getting insane. So I'm going to cast it. And hope for the best. Because otherwise we were going to cast Scourge and not be using our mana efficiently, or Ravager and have an Ornithopter to put it on. Oh yeah, Sleight of Hand. Definitely Storm. Okay, they are missing land drops, and we will celebrate. Um, so I like... Ooh, Master. Master now or Master later. I think with the number of guys that I can drop on the field. Master next turn is better. Yes, opponent. I will now attack for a measly one damage. So then with Overseer up, or sorry, Ravager, we can protect the Overseer if necessary. Or anything else the opponent targets. Storm player desperately needs a red source. Oof, waiting for them to discard. That hurts a lot. If they get that red source, though. Uh, 
is it better to uh do that to have her blue uh pest definitely needs to attack yeah this is fine Uh, alternatively, I could have attacked with Nexus this turn, but I think it's better to just do this. Just checking my damage here. Four, nine, twelve. And if I sack lots of things, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Not lethal. But we can get him next turn. seven cards in hand. If they get a red source, they could potentially go off. Oh, nope. Just another blue source. That feels bad. Yeah. Um, let's see. Definitely rest in peace. Um... Etched, I think, is okay. Blast for their Duder. Same argument for Whip Flare. Oh, also for the Goblins. Etched feels a little slow, but can't be targeted. So I'm going to trim the Masters. I'm going to trim Couriers. Or is it better to have couriers and drop something slower like Overseer? I think I'd leave it as is right now. Is there anything else I want to bring in? Thoughtseize, maybe. Thoughtseize, yes. I think I'll lose the blast. And I'm going to lose an Overseer. And I'm going to lose... Another Overseer, because I think they're too slow. Having answers would be better, I believe. But I have not played the Storm matchup too terribly much. Okay, um, we have a turn one thought cease. We have a turn two rest in peace. We have two rest in pieces. Wow. Uh, yeah. I know I don't have much in the way of threats after that, but rest in peace completely shutting them off. Well, correction. It does not completely shut them off. Certainly slows them down and makes them have to work a lot harder for uh, their combo. They'd have to have um, the damage spell plus a remand. Um, so, I can't cast anything else, except this here, if I'll see these. Yeah. 
Yep, Shatter Three, Grape Shot. So they can shatter and spree one thing right now. Ritual Pass in Flames is soon to be null and void. So there's Grape Shot, there's Ritual, the Desperate Ritual. So I'm thinking either their Win Con or Shattering Spree. Shattering Spree can shut me off pretty easily, but Grape Shot's their win, so we'll Grape Shot. Uh, and that's it. They don't have any card draw. So whatever they draw this turn is going to be vital for them. Otherwise, I definitely get to land a rest in peace. So they drew visions. So one unknown still. It could be a counterspell, which would suck for us, but it's not the end of the world. Um, here, and we pass. Steam events. So still one unknown. They still have Shattering Spree. Which means... I think I'm going to attack and force my opponent to consider Shattering Spree. Three, four, five. So I definitely did not have a lethal. Which means they're still holding up Shattering Spree, probably waiting until the last moment. Which makes sense. So I can play plating, and I can equip to one of these guys, and attack. No, can't attack. I think that's alright. Or I can play plating, or I can attack with Nexus, see if they shattering spree, and then plating after. I guess it depends on how much I want to prioritize this Nexus staying alive. Or getting in, rather. Um, because if I play Plating and Equip, that means I'm just doing straight damage this turn. Which will be 1, 2, and then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 damage puts them to 11. 
which means I'm starting to divide the damage I'm doing. Rather than focusing. But, if I do that... Uh, I think I'm gonna swing in. Because I'd rather have the plating around than the Nexus. And the Nexus I can save. And it looks like my opponent is just passing through that. So then I'm going to play this. Leaves myself a little exposed, but it looks like they have sixed right through my turn. Still only have one unknown card. This is probably Shattering Spree with lots of activations. If they target Ravager at all, I eat the other things they target and Welding Jar the Ravager. Yeah. So how do I see... You cast a spell, copy it each time. Uh, so it looks like both times... Two, but he paid three? I'm confused, I don't know how to read this. It looks like he's just targeting Ravager. Uh, which means I just let it resolve, because Welding Jarring it will be a waste. Ah, uh, okay, now I get that. <laughs> yeah, opponent, oh, plating. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now the three. Interesting, so that's how that works. Okay. So now I can... I can either... Eat the opal in the plating and save the Ravager. Or I eat the opal, let Ravager die, and save the plating. Which means I don't have enough mana to play an equip plating next turn. But if I save Ravager, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna save Ravager. Oh shoot. I forgot that Ravager's modular triggers do not work. Yeah, okay, good thing I didn't fall for that. Well, that means I'm most certainly going to save plating. Oh wow, it even says one regeneration shield. That's cute. Yeah, good thing I didn't fall for that trap. Jeepers. That would have been a close one. Unless I have a zero cost artifact. I don't believe I have lethal. Um... Helps a little. Mm. Yeah, because I can activate Blink Moth. So I know. No, they still have one unknown. It could be a bounce spell, but I think I just have to play into it. It's. 
uh, my best chance. And if he has nothing, I have lethal, because I just activate. Alright. Well, that was probably the best storm match I've ever had. Thanks for watching.